ourselves in a uh, concession stand here in Wilmar, Minnesota, where the weather's turned severe. Um, I've already contacted my loved ones, but uh, I'm here with 30 of the best guys I can think of. Um, we really had some strange things happen this summer. Some of summer of rain. We've had snakes on the field. Um, a lot of different instances that really made this a unique experience. Um, I'd like to thank you all for joining me once again. I wish it was on a more positive note. But uh, earlier, just moments ago, we were able to look at the sky and it turned green, which usually is a poor sign for things to come. But uh, I'd like to call in right now, Jonathan Rodriguez. Yeah. Shady. Um, just to get a little insight. J Rod, give me your feelings on uh, your experiences the last couple days dealing with the snake and right field and now the weather. Um, I just didn't know what to expect. I see the snake. I was playing right field. I called my boy G. He came over with a baseball bat, killed it, and uh, I missed a fly ball. But I missed a fly ball. But I missed a fly ball. But why did you miss? Why did you miss that fly ball? Due to the snake. If that ball would have went over your head, you'd just let it go. I would have let it go. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Talk about the snake some more. Uh, <laughs> I don't like snakes. Period. If you had to choose between a snake and a killer whale, which one would you rather be uh, cornered by? Killer whale. If you had to choose between a snake and a a uh, rabid uh, possum, which one would you rather be cornered by? Possum. Awesome. If you had to choose between a snake and a bed of angry scorpions, which one would you rather be cornered by? One more. If it was between a shark and a snake, which one would you rather be cornered by? I'll just kill myself. Okay. He doesn't like sharks, he doesn't like snakes. He's a strong man, but he has a couple of things that really get to him. That's my man, Jonathan Sosa Rodriguez. Sosa! 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 Joining me now is uh, G, as J Rod likes to call him, or G Nini, or G Ambino, or he's got, a, he's got a lot of names that people call him. But if you would, please tell the story of how you exterminated the state and when you first saw him to the, the few last moments of life that snake had. Well, I mean, it started out, I was out in the bullpen, you know, trying to keep the going out there, and towards the end of the game, J-Rod sounded extremely concerned. I heard a, gee, gee, dude, there's a freaking snake right behind me, bro. I heard a, gee, gee, dude, there's a freaking snake right behind me, bro. I heard a, gee, gee, dude, there's a freaking snake right behind me, bro. Like, all right, you know, at first, you don't believe he's a snake. I said, all right, yeah, where is it? We pointed at it. We couldn't see it. It was, it was a pretty small snake. There, right? and How big was it exactly? I would say it was a solid two and a half, 
Good Were you able to identify the species? Uh, well, our reptile expert picking moth. Reptile expert picking moth claims that it is a bull snake. Here, I'm joined here with Higginbotham, our uh, resident ex reptile expert. Um, that's uh, to my understanding that you were able to identify this uh, particular species of uh, snake. I said it was a bull snake. Okay. Yeah. And what leads you to believe that? Tucson. Okay. We'll have to edit that out. <laughs> There's a lot of them in Tucson. Confidence, what percentage can you say that it was in fact a bull snake? Oh, no, 75. 75%. Tell me a little bit more about that species. Are they poisonous? No. They eat what? rattlesnakes and rats and stuff really? like that. So, really, well, I want to thank you for joining, Piggy. No problem. Um, if we ever have any more reptile questions, we'll be sure to bring you in. Awesome. J-Rod identified as a black snake, which to me means a plain black snake. When I got out there and found the snake initially, I saw the pattern on it. What kind of pattern? Diamonds? Uh, yeah, kind of a diamond dish. Well, we got out there, the out was recorded, J-Rod respectfully called time. Uh, we got out there, he pointed to where it had been before the place started. We got out there, there was no snake. So at this point, we're like, okay, J Rod, good one. So we start looking around. Quake actually spotted it first. We got over there. The initial plan was just to grab it with the bat and drag it out here. Saw the pattern on the head. Thought it could be poisonous. And we exchanged some blows. Uh, you snake in yourself? Well, he didn't did, it, really did it take a striking position at all? Did it did the threat seem imminent that he may strike? Well, he seemed like he was trying to flee. Really? But, possible poisonous nature, we had to, take it. We had to put him down. Uh, it's really a, uh, you know, an act of bravery as I see it, protecting your teammate, you know, uh, and really the safety of all players and personnel at the ballpark that day. This is Cody Fick from Wilmer, Minnesota, signing off where we've dealt with thunderstorms and snakes. Hopefully not much more of that the rest of the summer. Rain around like a water vortex. This tornado's about to hit, right? What? The tornado's about to hit, the rain kind of dies down. I said that, but it can swirl like a vortex. That would be a water cyclone. It was just like, my show away from me. It made me happy I'm sad Oh, so sad But now I got it back And I'm happy again Loving life And winning Baseball games So come on everybody Come on It's the Cody